I could have easily set it up, you guys would have never known, but I want to be honest. I want this to be like a two-way connect. I want to be connected here. I want to be honest with each other. First full day back vlogging. This feels a little weird, but I do still love doing this. I didn't not vlog for a week because I didn't want to vlog. Does that make any sense? I haven't been vlogging this past week because I didn't want to. It's just because this past week has been crazy. I haven't felt good. But we're back to the vlog and I can have some more fun with this. I love doing little magic tricks. I've missed being able to do this. Just because life is so hard when you have to walk to the bathroom. It's so much easier when you can teleport. And cue the background music. Any music these things, it just adds spice to your life. And I have missed being able to do this. You can't do this in normal life. Uh, I have not to work now. I'm not gonna be home for a while. I got work, and then we have to work on. There's a young apostle training this weekend. So all of the like teenagers who help us with youth group are gonna get training. So we gotta figure all that out. It starts tomorrow and. It's a lot of details to get squared away and figure it all out so that we can actually have a training. It feels really good to have this camera being towed around with me again. Because there's this weird thing that happens when you record your life every day. You sort of miss it when you're not recording your life every day. So I've missed vlogging. I've missed you guys. I know what you're thinking. This is not my actual work. This is sort of work, but not work. I got a phone call from Ashley. I'm dropping off a MacBook charger because I'm the best boyfriend in the world. And because she forgot hers today. That's a key. I'm not just dropping it off because I can. I'm dropping it off because she forgot hers today. That's a key detail. I'm going to work. What time is it? 12.30, I'm starting late, but I only have two stops today, so I'm not too terribly worried about getting done late. But I'm not taking the truck, because I gotta go down to Georgia State and get a bunch of like scholarship and parking stuff. It feels good. It feels awesome to be done with work for the day. But I started, what was it? 12.30, 1 o'clock? What time is it? 12.30, 6 o'clock now. Six hours. Lots of traffic. Remember how I said it was going to be a short day? But I only have two stops today, so I'm not too terribly worried about getting done late. Well, it wasn't. And the main pitfall for today's plans of having a short work day and getting here quickly to help Ashley was that I had to stop by Georgia State. Money issues, parking issues. Stopping by Georgia State was not a quick stop like I thought it would be. I was 50th in line to see an advisor, 50th. So I waited an hour just to see the advisor and then after talking and all that stuff, hitting traffic on the way back, it's been quite the afternoon. Hello? Hi. <laughs> hey there. Hi. Do you guys hear that? That's rain. It's like tin roof here, so we hear everything. It's crazy. Figuring out 
young apostle training for this weekend. People tell me all the time, youth ministry is not a full-time job. Wrong! It's more than full-time, right Ashley? Yeah. Well, it's a little bit of a late response, so you probably don't believe it as much, but just believe us. It's more than a full-time job. <laughs> Running out to grab some food. There's a meeting going on. Working long hours from work to St. Monica's, staying here to probably till like 9. I need to stop and get some dinner. Thank you. You too. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was gonna have this great shot of me eating my food because I just picked it up and it was gonna be this artful. Like I went from picking up my food to eating my food and it was gonna be great. But I was eating and I totally forgot to record anything. So I'm not gonna lie to you and pretend like I'm eating because I don't lie. I'm a truthful, honest, wholehearted, uh, just boy scout through and through. Once again, the theme of not lying. I don't lie. I could have easily set it up, you guys would have never known, but I want to be honest. I want this to be like a two-way connect. I want to be connected here. I want to be honest with each other. Uh, and if you're wondering, I'm packing up because I didn't record any of what we were doing. Um, what we're doing really probably doesn't interest you that much. Just Excel spreadsheets, printing stuff. Are you ready to go? Mm-hmm. How are you feeling about tomorrow? Um. Bye, Ashley. First day back in the vlogosphere. Feels good. I missed it. But I do remember now how much work it is. But I don't mind. I like, like, like I was saying this afternoon, like you just, after videotaping your life for like a year and a half and uploading it, when you're not doing it, you feel like something's wrong. You feel like you're missing something. So it's nice to be back. This entire episode just centered around the fact that it's nice to be back. But I am going to head to bed because I have a long, long, long weekend ahead of me. I don't know exactly what it entails, so I'm not going to, like, get your hopes up and say stuff. I know it entails time with teenagers and maybe possibly a concert. Not going to give any details so that I don't raise any expectations up to here. I'm going to keep the expectation level here so that if it is here, it's going to be here. But if it's here, I'm okay with it, because I never told you, well, I'm not okay with it, but at least you won't be expecting this and get this. At least you'll be expecting this. You get the point. But I need sleep to even get it to here. So choose virtue, choose life, so long for now. But that means I have to split that time and have to do Haiti videos. So I'm a little torn. So I came up with typical day number three. Bear with me here. You've got everything the same, but...